<laughs> All right, hello class. How is everybody today? Good, I see. Everyone's here or not. All right, well, today's lecture is going to be on quantum dots. Now, does anybody in the class know what a quantum dot is? I believe that was a TV show where the guy went back in time, and every time he was in a different body... No, no, good good try. That that would be quantum leap. Quantum leap's what you're thinking of. Oh, okay, but same question, but with gravitons. No, no, you, you didn't ask a question. Did you, just put your head down, Collins. Oh. A quantum dot is a particle of matter so small that the addition or removal of an electron changes its properties in some useful way. All atoms are, of course, quantum dots but multi-molecular combinations can also have this characteristic. Quantum dots are semiconductor nanoparticles that glow up a particular color after being illuminated by light. Quantum dots typically have dimensions measured in nanometers, where one nanometer is 10 to the negative 9 meters, or one millionth of a millimeter. When quantum dots are illuminated by UV light, or any light with a high enough frequency or energy, some of the electrons receive enough energy to break free from the bonds of their atoms. This capability allows them to move around the nanoparticle, creating a conduction band in which electrons are free to move through a material and conduct electricity. Quantum dot semiconductors have the properties of confining their excitons, or the excited electrons, in all three spatial dimensions. When these excitons drop back into their outer orbit around the atom, the valence band, they emit light. The color of that light depends on the energy difference between the conduction band and the valence band. The smaller the nanoparticle, the higher the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band. This results in a deeper blue color. For a larger nanoparticle, the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band is lower, which shifts this glow towards the red side of the spectrum. Many semiconductor substances have been used as quantum dots. Nanoparticles of any other semiconductor substance have the properties of a quantum dot. The gap between the valence band and the conduction band, which is present for all semiconductor materials, causes quantum dots to fluoresce. Scientists are working on the use of quantum dots in displays for applications, ranging from your cell phone. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having Hello? Oh yeah, I went to that party. No, that guy was so lame. I think we should go to that store in the mall. They had a pair of jeans marked down. I know, I know, on sale, that's bad, but whatever. Okay, well, I've gotta go, I'm in class. Bye. What, you guys have a problem? To large screen televisions that would consume less power than the current displays out on the market now. By placing different size quantum dots in each pixel of a display screen, the red, green, and blue colors used to generate the full spectrum of colors would be available. Okay class, that ends the lecture for today. Be sure to do your homework, chapters 5 through 6, and I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm so happy, oh, happy, very lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worry is going to be. Things that bother you never bother me. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Ha -ha. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having the wonderful time.